Hi, welcome to LensDiaries.com. Today I'm going to do an Adobe Photoshop tutorial. My name is Rolando Gomez. I am the founder of Lens Diaries and a professional photographer. And I'm going to show you a technique I've been using since Adobe Photoshop 6, and it's probably been around longer. It's just when I learned it. And it still works with the current uh, CS levels of Photoshop. It's, it's a quick technique to make adjustments on images and save you some time in post-production. Uh, and I tend to use it a lot on my images of women that um, I tend to shoot warm through my white balance techniques and obviously we don't want yellow teeth or yellow eyes so this is a, a technique that helps me clean that, um, the, whiten up the teeth and the eyes really quick without uh, having any hard edges uh, in, you know that would be caused by using layers or the magneto, magnetic tool or the lasso tool uh, the first thing that we'll do is we'll make a background copy uh, the reason I make a background copy is I don't want to edit the original uh, f file itself. I want to edit a layer. That way if I overcorrect I can delete the layer and always start over. Or let's just say that the correction is just a tad bit stronger than I want then I can come in here in the opacity and tone it down a little bit and blend it in with the original layer. Um, now we're talking uh, about making this area dark but before we do anything to the image, any type of correction, we're going to find the snapshot camera right here in the history palette and we're going to take a snapshot. And, and it says snapshot one here and normally I don't change the names because I work pretty fast so it'll say snapshot one two three but for the sake of this tutorial we're gonna name this fallback because that's what it is it's a fallback layer so we can clean up anything that we overcorrect with the the following snapshots that we're gonna do now the next step I'm going to do is I'm gonna adjust the levels and I'm gonna darken the image using the midtones because this is closer to midtones and shadows and obviously the image looks horrible don't worry about that uh, we'll fix that real fast then we'll take the snapshot if you notice the icon is darker now again this is why I don't normally change the snapshot but for the sake of the video we'll label this dark levels um, now we want now that we've got that temporary layer we want to delete what we just did and just hit the little trash can there and it brings it back to where we were the next step that we'll do is we're going to go over here next to the clone tool and we're going to select the history brush. I'm going to set my opacity at 33% because I like to work in thirds. I don't, I don't like to do anything drastic when I'm working on an image. And then we want to select this little box next to the, you know, this is the dark levels. Notice I said the little box. If we select the big box, you see what happens to the image? But don't panic. If you do that accidentally, just go back to the original one, come back in here and select the little box again. And then we'll turn around. I'm sorry, we want to make sure we have the background copy. Then we'll turn around and we will paint in with our history brush. Now you can adjust the size of the brush using the bracket keys. I like to get a brush that's big enough that allows me to get some work done uh, quickly without affecting the area that I don't want to touch. Now if you notice as my brush goes round and round here I'm overlapping. Now if I was burning or dodging or, or some of the other tools in Photoshop it would just double and quadruple that and basically burn a hole in the image and that's something we don't want to do. So by using snapshots as long as I have this set to 33 it'll never go over that provided I do not release the mouse. Now the minute I release the mouse if I go back over again you'll see it'll get darker again and that's okay because I'm doing this in thirds. Now let's pretend for a minute that I accidentally darken Holly's face not a problem. We go back over here to this fallback and this is why we, we do fallback uh, um, snapshots throughout our editing process. So we can paint back in the original what was there. Okay. Now I'm going to go back to the darken because um, I want to add some more uh, darkness to this image and we'll do that in the next step. 